So let's get to what we're here for. Uh, I, iOS development. Uh, so this is, uh, yeah, so this is the Apple portal. Developer.apple.com. This is kind of where everything related to Apple Dev, you can get to it from here. Um, so this is iPhone Dev Center, Mac Dev Center, Safari Dev Center. We're going to be focused on iPhone Dev Center or uh, as of today, you know, now it's iOS Dev Center. Uh, so basically to get started, you can download the SDK for free actually. You can go sign up for an Apple ID, you can log in, and you can download the SDK completely for free. You just can't develop on devices. So the so to develop on a device, you have to go join the developer, you know, iPhone developer program. Um, so this is, you go here, you enroll, and it's $99 a year. You can choose to be an individual, or you can choose to be a company or enterprise. Uh, so most likely it's either going to be for you individual or a company company is like if you have a corporation LLC and you want to manage a team you've got multiple developers or you've got people you're gonna hire to come in and use your portal to develop for you whatever the case that would be like what a company's for is when you're gonna manage a team individual you're just a one-man shop indie shop and you're basically gonna be publishing all the apps under your name your personal name uh, so I have my own account for Ben Stallhood I haven't published any apps yet under it uh, in fact, I just renewed it, cleared it out. It's super, it, it's super uh, clean and pristine, so we can actually use it to go through the whole process and demo to you on how to set up everything. So once you enroll, you'll get access to your to your portal. Um, so if you go to iPhone Dev Center, this is the this is the Apple uh, iPhone Center, iPhone Dev Center. This is kind of where you access the iPhone Dev Portal. Okay, so you're gonna log in here with your account information once you've signed up. So I'm gonna go ahead and sign in here. And this is where you, you basically, yeah, I'm sorry, yeah. If you have, if you have multi, if you're part of multiple teams, you've been invited by multiple teams. This is where you'll choose whether you're logging into that Teams portal or your individual portal. So I'm gonna go log into my personal one here. This is it. So this mean this is everything, right? This is you got. You got tutorial videos. You've got just reference libraries. You've got coding how to sample code, and the sample code is really great. You should go through it as you learn stuff. You know, you access to Apple Developer Forums. Between the Developer Forums and other major great sites out there like uh, Stack Overflow, and uh, I think um, there's like iPhone Dev SDK and a couple other really good sites out there. Between those sites, specifically Apple Developer Forums and Stack Overflow, you can usually get a, an answer to any questions you have. So those are really great um, you know, references as far as trying to get immediate answers to your questions. From here, you have access to the provisioning portal, which is where everything happens as far as managing devices, provisioning profiles, certificates. Uh, so, and we'll get into that. iTunes Connect is literally the back end for where you go to submit your apps and you you know push an app out to the App Store. We'll actually go through that eventually. I'm actually gonna eventually get to a point where we're actually gonna build an app together uh, that I'll put on the App Store for free or something, and you'll see the whole process. So, anyway, this is uh, the iPhone provisioning portal. Let's go into it. Okay, here we are in the portal. So, basically, the portal has all these um, sections on the menu here. And this is the step you would go through base. Normally, you would normally do is do here is you'd go through here manually, and you would add your certificate request. You generate the certificate request and you add them here for development and distribution. You go in and you add a device, and you would add this is where you add your UDID and your device here. You create an app ID, <clears throat> and you then create your provisioning profiles that you need to basically install on the device. And this is where, for development, you put it on your own device, and then you have distribution, you can do ad hoc, which we'll eventually get into too, where you share it with people for beta testing, friends, things like that, to get feedback uh, and to test it. And then distribution is when you get to, you know, the actual process of putting it out to the store. Now the nice thing is you used to be able to go you have to go through the, do all this manually yourself, right? And the nice thing about the latest X code is Apple's made a whole interface through X code that tries to simplify this process for you now. Um, so let's let me let me bring up X code. One of the things too is I, I forgot to mention it and I apologize, a couple things here. 
Let me just back up a second. So here's, when you log in, this is where you download Xcode at. So when you log in here, this is, you won't have access to the SDK beta unless you're an actual paid iPhone developer. Uh, if you're an iPhone developer program, you'll have access to the beta stuff. If not, you'll have access to the SDK 4 stuff anyway for free, like I explained earlier. And you can download the SDK here. This is where you download Xcode and install it. And uh, once you download Xcode and install it, you run it. This is, where you're, this is the first interface you're going to come up. Welcome to Xcode. This is where you kind of can start your projects. But right away, if you go to Window and go to Organizer, this is a really nice interface for kind of everything related to your iPhone device and the iPhone development around your certs, your profiles, your device logs, everything. So right away, what's great about this is if you click on here, you'll notice here I've got my phone hooked up. And it shows you like this little nice LED light screen tells you that the device is ready and so here this is where we'd see all the provisioning profiles all my uh, you know device information UDID with the software version on it so on right this is where you can you know look at the device console device log screenshots so right, right away the first thing we want to make sure is make sure the device is inside the portal so normally you have to go through and add this yourself but let's go ahead and if you just basically right click or control click basically here you'll see add device to provisioning portal so let's go ahead and do that and when, it do, when we do that it's going to come up and ask you for your information so this is where you type in your Apple ID for your Apple developer program your password and you just you log in and you'll see it says preparing to add to portal it's going to ask you which team you're going to choose my you know choose your own team and, and it, it's going to come up and tell you this is great so it's going to tell you no development certificate has been found so right off the bat, it's going to start going through the process of saying it doesn't find certain things you need. So it's, we're going to submit a request. And you notice it's doing all these things, right? Generating team provisioning profile. And then look at this. Provisioning. Team provisioning profile. Now if you notice, I'm selected the device. This just installed it on the device. So here's all the things it did. So if you go here developer profile, I'm sorry, to uh, provisioning profiles, you'll notice it actually downloaded the provisioning profile, right? And it installed on the device already. So it, it's basically, which is great, let's go over and switch over here to the portal. Let's go back into it. And let's go to certificates. And you'll notice it said it submitted the dev one, right? So look at this. Here, Here's the dev, already tied to the team provisioning profile, ready to go. So we're going to go ahead and download this. Okay, and just double click on it. And it's going to install it in your keychain manager for you. It's going to load keychain, which for whatever reason didn't bring it to the front, but it's going to load keychain here and it's going to install it. And you'll see iPhone developer bin install hood. Another important key thing here is you'll notice right here if you do not have the Worldwide Developer Relations Intermediate Certificate installed, click here to download now. Let's go ahead and do that. You're going to need. To install this as well okay now to verify it doesn't install it in your my certificates it actually installs it into the, the global certificates you'll just want to double check and make sure that it did install it did apple worldwide developer relations certification certification authority uh so it's installed and then under yours you've got the developer awesome so we're we're getting there so we've done these steps it's done up it's actually done the process for us we've got it installed now let's go back to organizer so if you go to develop profile, you'll notice here now that we've got, you know, your identity installed. So now we're going to go back to provisioning profiles here. We're just going to do a refresh. And what this is going to do, and this is one last step I like, is no distribution certificate found. So you're going to go ahead and submit a request for that as well. And right off the bat, it's going, to send, it's going to send out a certificate request for you, once again. And this is great. So now if you go to distribution, it's done the work for you. And there it is. Click download. Right? There's our distribution cert. Double click on it. Boom. So iPhone distribution, Ben Stallhood. <clears throat> iPhone developer, Ben Stallhood. So we've got our developer and our distribution cert installed now. So we're looking really good here. 
So you know you can if you want you you know you can refresh again. It'll install again. I mean it'll go through and hit the the portal once more. And that way if there's any if there's any remaining issues, it will come up and tell you. But we're we're good. So when everything's refreshed, we've got we've got our distribution, our developer cert, we've got and we've got a provisioning profile, which is wildcard. Now let me just show you what this did on the back end of it, so you understand. Under devices, you'll notice it installed our device, Ben's iPhone 4, my device ID, and it's tied it to the profile. So what what does a profile mean, and what is the app ID that it created for us as well? So let's go to app IDs. So the app ID is the ID, the the application identifier that kind of is used to identify your app. It's used when you create apps. Um, you will get into the fact that when you create an app, there's an info plist file. And you go into that file, and it's re kind of set up some of the things for your app. And there, inside there, there's a bundle identifier, and it usually, excuse me, it usually uses the reverse DNS notation. Uh, to, so, it, for example, it, let's say it's you know for me it's it'd be com dot ben stallhood dot whatever my app may be called, right? And where I can do dot star for a wildcard. In this case, what it created was a full blown wildcard. Doesn't matter what it is. So this is a full blown wildcard app ID that it created for us. Here's the only drawback. So wildcard asterisk, you know, <clears throat> app IDs are great for developing, testing, debugging. You don't have to worry about the actual specific identifier. When you get to actually publishing your app, and if you want to use PNS, and app purchases, or a game center, you have to have a fully qualified app ID. Okay? So we'll get to that point, but eventually you'll have to come in here and create an app ID that's like, you know, for example, RamChamp was com dot icon factory dot RamChamp, fully qualified, okay, and that allowed you to do in-app purchases and things like that. So we'll we'll get into more detail about this specific topic, but just want to let you know that it did this for us. It created a wildcard app ID, so it does not matter what that identifier is when we create our apps, which is great. It's already installed and good to go. It also created provisioning profiles, which you need, okay. So the provisioning profile is what gets installed on the device to let the device know, know, know that you've got an app tied to that profile and that it can run. Okay, And you'll notice here it says manage by Xcode. So this is the team provision profile that Xcode is going to manage for us. It created that one and installed it and already put it on our phone and installed in Xcode. So we're good to go. This is everything completely done for us, all done through Xcode interface. This used, you used to have to do all this on your own. So. This is really good. If, if you guys all feel like you want me to go through the whole process eventually of doing all this stuff on your own, we can, I can create another video for that. Just let me know through request if you guys feel like that would be a great video or topic to cover. So at this point, <clears throat> we're, we're ready to go um, and start developing uh, our first app. We've got, you know, you've, you've signed up, you've downloaded Xcode, you've installed it, you've opened up Organizer. You've went through the process of adding your device, and everything's set up to your, 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 you know, in your dev portal. You, you are ready to go. And this, I'm going to end this particular tutorial on that note, and let you guys know the next one will literally get into creating your very first iPhone app. Now, in saying that, what I want to bring up is I'm going to assume some knowledge of Objective C development. I'm not going to get into very, ba you know, basic development and going through teaching you Objective C. So if you go and you Google Objective-C programming, a couple things I want to bring out. Objective-C programming language, this PDF from Apple's website, is awesome. Okay, This is a really great, if you just want to, for free, download something. If you're really good at, you know, you know, if you're one of those people that's kind of a, you know, self-starter, you know, you're very motivated, you can learn on your own, you've self-taught yourself for a lot of things, you can just download this, go through this PDF yourself, read it all, and this literally will give you a great start. If you're someone who wants, you know, the, the feel of a book in your hands or you want to get something on your Kindle um, and go through it, then this is a highly recommended book right here at Amazon.com, Programming Objective-C. It's got a lot of good ratings. It's highly recommended by a lot of people, you know, that you, you talk to asking for uh, good books on the subject. This is a highly recommended book, okay? So that ends this tutorial. Um, next one, uh, we'll get into the actual project. We'll actually create our first project, get into the actual interface, interface builder, uh, project, structure, how it all basically communicates and works. So I'll see you guys in the uh, next tutorial. Thanks.